Let's explore how dynamic data protection can automate enforcement, applying customized policies to a specific individual. Phil Zamudio works in procurement and handles selection and negotiation of critical contracts for the company. Phil's organization uses DLP and behavior-centric analytics to examine anomalous behavior and protect critical data. And his current risk level is at A2. Phil emails files to his personal email for meeting prep. And DLP prompts and confirms the action. He then moves a file involved in scoping a project, an RFP, from a shared drive to a meeting prep folder on a USB. Again, DLP prompts for action. An hour or so later, he forwards an email to his wife about being placed on a performance improvement plan by his manager, and he feels that it might be time for him to leave the company. He then prints out his resume. He begins to hit job search websites like Indeed, Monster, and Career Builder, looking for IT admin positions. Frustrated by management's actions, it appears that Phil may now attempt to exfil data for his future job. He begins by trying to pull the vital master contact list, but is blocked by DLP. He then moves on to copying folders full of RFP project work, data that is marked confidential, and DLP again prompts for an action. Let's go into behavior-centric analytics and view how an analyst can investigate context. Phil Zamudio is showing an elevated high risk score of 99, and it shows a shift from a risk level of 2 to a risk level of 5. Moving into his timeline page, we can highlight over different models to see their risk scores and how many events have contributed to that score. We can see clearly that Phil's behavior through most of the day is pretty unremarkable. But right around 2 p.m., his risk level begins to escalate quickly. The risk models in the chart show that elevated flight risk activity is overlapping with upticks in DLP incidents and an unusually high volume of data movement. Moving into the entity timeline, we can see a breakdown of Phil's events into one-hour buckets, grouped by risk model. We can dive into each model and see a summary view of all contributing events such as Phil printing his resume, visiting job boards, and his attempt to copy the contracts file and RFPs. With Phil's behavior increasing his risk score, let's view how dynamic data protection automatically enforces policies. An hour later, Phil returns home and decides to remote into his desktop to access additional data. Phil attempts to copy additional RFP documents, actions that were previously allowed, but DLP blocks this action. Phil then attempts to copy the same files he copied previously, but he is still blocked. When he attempts to email the files to his personal email address, again, this action is blocked by DLP. Entering DLP from an analyst view, we can review the incident and see Phil's actions that were previously allowed at risk level 2 are now being blocked at risk level 5. The DLP system dynamically adjusted policies due to Phil's elevated risk and automated policy enforcement to block data exfil. Forcepoint is the only solution in the market that provides a graduated approach to data protection based on the behavior of the user and the value of the data being accessed, automating to reduce alarms and alerts, protect your data, and drive the efficiency of your security organization.